6.15 in the morning, Friday morning, <clears throat> we got up about 5.20 this morning, getting everyone ready, getting all packed up and everything, we're heading to St. Louis. Because Duke just had to get on there, he threw a fit because he weren't letting him. Say thumbs up, dude. So I'm here in a Best Buy parking lot in St. Louis, and uh, freaks. I'm hijacking the video. That's right. The lawn freak lives. <laughs> What's going on to all you out there? Oh, I see you. You see me? You still cutting grass? Just a couple of lawns. Not like I used to. <laughs> Victoria. And Oreos. Oh. And Oreos. <laughs> and Annabelle. And Suicide Squad. You can't forget that. The freak was nice enough to bring my kids some uh, Suicide Squad uh, Funko Mystery Pops. Yeah. Brought me a Harley Quinn... Uh, comic book box absolutely so, i'm a big comic book fan did you find those comics you were looking for i found some stuff um i went on a big um comic book weekend i went to like 11 comic book stores <laughs> and i hit them all up and now i have to wait for them to get some more good stuff there go back. <laughs> yeah i was i was talking to john about it and he said he was he didn't think he had any yeah but he could probably track some down yeah, for you. Sometimes it's a thrill to hunt. Like, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I've been getting on Comixology and just reading digital copies. And then if I see something I really like and have to have, then I'll try and order it or something. Right. But. Yeah, things have changed with comic books over the years. Yeah. You can like read them online now. I'm used to just turning pages, <laughs> putting them in my bags and boards, putting them away in my long boxes. <laughs> I still do it that way. Old school. What comics are you into now? Well, there you go, right here. I still like my Marvel line, most of the characters from the X-Men and branch out from there, but I've been to all these independent comics that if I started naming a few, you wouldn't, you know, might not know them, and I might not remember them all the time. <laughs> um, I'm always finding new ca characters just from, and new comics just from like the covers, so it's like albums back in the day. You buy yeah. it for like, you know, like, you see Iron Maiden album, and you're like, what? And then yeah. you buy it and you're like, hey, this is good stuff, right? <laughs> so I'm do that. That's but, that's how I get most of my comics that I really like. I had uh, that Cosmic Carnage one where uh, Carnage took over the Silver Surfer back yeah. in the late 90s. Yeah. And uh, I got that mainly because of the cover, and now it's worth a lot, and I ended up trading it for like three other comics back in the day. <laughs> I even buy like um, like new school weird mashups because they allow crazy things nowadays that they didn't used to allow. Like like Scooby Doo Apocalypse, they're all yeah. like zombies and stuff, right? <laughs> cool. And then everybody gets to branch branch out. Like it started with the like aliens versus predators and all that, but right. now you can have Judge Dredd or whoever with. You know, oh yeah. You know, Here lately, I've been getting into a Dynamite and IDW, which I just did an interview with the. Uh, writer and the artist for uh, Ghostbusters. I didn't get to watch that video yet, but I seen the upload. Uh, he's actually wanting to share the uh, video. He just shared it on uh, um, Twitter and he's want, he needs a higher resolution thumbnail so he can share it on his uh, uh, Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. So the Joker's right here. But yeah, I've been getting into IDW and Dynamite here lately, and they've got some really cool stuff. Uh, like Dynamite has uh, Masks and Masks 2, which has uh, Green Hornet and Kato teaming up with The Shadow, Black Bat, Miss Fury, uh, The Spider. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. They allow all these cool team-ups they never would have oh, cross-branded yeah. before, and just anything goes. Man, it's, it's like a 
it's the perfect era for a true like comic book um, oh, yeah. fantasy world type of fan. In fact, right now, I think Dynamite Comics is doing so good, they could completely overtake Marvel and DC if they wanted to. If they wanted to create a masks movie, like the like Marvel has the Avengers, uh -huh. DC has Justice League. If they wanted to do masks, they could completely overshadow them. That's what I'm saying. It's open season right now. For yeah. a, your creativity can run wild, and anything's possible. And they're allowing it, man. They allow the cross branding. People are oh, yeah. just so so open minded about. They're not worried about like ruining or defaming a brand. Right. They're like, no, man. They can they can mash up for a couple issues, and then maybe it turns into like a hundred issues. You never know. <laughs> yeah. So. But we're gonna hang out for a little bit off video and everything. I just wanted you guys to uh, see what the freak is up to now. I'm alive. If you're a lawn freak <laughs> and you're still out there and you sent me a message, I did get it, didn't respond, but I tell you what, I love you guys. I miss a lot of you. I still get to talk to a couple here and there, but um, I just had to kind of do my own thing. Yeah, you were getting a lot of hate well, from the lawn care videos. Well, and the thing is, is those videos, you guys, the reason why you, you you might have liked them so much is because they were very personal and um but that's the other reason they had too much personal information in it and now i got so many eyes you know weird stuff started happening <laughs> What you got going on over there, Duke? I got two phone five what one I eat all and on that one two faithful those sweet and sour sauce? Yeah. One for phone five, one for take it. And how many chicken nuggets you got? Open the box and show me. Right here. We'll open the box. Let's see. One, two, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Turn them around. Yeah, you right. Boo boo. What you got going on over there? She's trying to give me a wet wool.